Hello fellow knife nuts. I've got a couple open L's to show you today. I figured I'd just talk a little bit about them and tell you what I like, how, why I like them and what I think they're good for. And uh, we'll see how, how it goes. Okay, I just got this one yesterday. It comes in this little little cardboard pouch. This is a, a number six. It has a stainless blade. If you look, it has um, a natural finish as opposed to this uh, carbon blade model, which they always have the uh, varnished finish. This is a number four. So there you go. Here's a six on in my right hand, and there's a number four. This is, really isn't a versus, number four versus six video. I will uh, just talk about what I like them for, why I, how, why, how I'm going to use them. This one I've had for quite a while. Okay, it's the little, like I said, the tiny little number four, has a carbon steel blade. Uh, razor blade sharp. You can really sharpen these up with ease. I like to use this steel, a simple steel like this. It's got a, it's got grooves on it. Does a fabulous job. I uh, what I like about the little four is the size. This is a true pocket knife. I mean, compare it here with a key. This is just a standard house key. Two of them. Well, there you go. About the same size. They weigh about the same. This probably weighs a half ounce, I'm guessing. Really a cool little knife. Um, I'd probably use it more than any knife I've ever owned just because it's always there in my pocket. You don't notice it in there. You just reach in though and it's easy to find. It uh, is great. I use it out in the garden a lot. I use it for opening boxes, packages. Um, it has one major problem. The number open L number two through five do not have the, lo the lock, the locking mechanism mechanism right here. So you obviously a tiny knife like this isn't meant for hard use, but if you put any real pressure on it, you can, this blade can start to move on you. You know, it could be dangerous. So it's obviously very much a light duty knife there. You can probably see it's a little corrosion on it, a tiny bit, being carbon steel, you know. But uh, that's nothing. I, I could get that off, but I like the little patina it has. Um, I wanted a knife that had the locking ring. So I had to go with this number six. That's the smallest size that has the lock. You can see right now it's locked in the closed position. You turn it and then you can open it. It's a little bit stiff. These Some people can't get these open without breaking their fingernails. Inox, that just means stainless. It's got the stainless steel blade. You can compare it now with the blade size of the, of the four. I mean there's a huge difference between the four and the six. I was hoping the six would be a little smaller than it is. This is a three finger knife, barely. You and I have small hands, it's barely a three finger. This is a four, four finger. Um, but this is much heavier, it's 1.2 ounces. Like I said, this is probably a half ounce knife. If even that's really light. But I've been finding that the number six is more useful because of the lock. You go, give it a twist, simple little twist, and it locks in place. Some people complain about this lock. They say it isn't very strong. You know, um, but this this knife, again, it's a thin blade, razor blade sharp. Um, it's not meant for heavy cutting. It's a lot, it'll do a lot heavier cutting than this little number four will. I used it in the garden today. I used it for food prep, cutting up a Swiss chard and uh, kale and uh, beans and it went through them like nothing. In fact, I've found open L's to be some of your best kitchen slicers of all time. Yeah, let me just grab a knife right here. Here we go. Whoa! Kitty just knocked over the broom. Okay, this is uh, my uh, Spyderco Endura from 1998. It's got a hollow ground blade. A great um, little slicer. I don't think it's quite as up to snuff with this uh, stainless steel open L when it comes to slicing. Um, I haven't tested it. Edge retention on these softer steels is not going to be um, that great if you're using them for work and just using a knife all day long. But so far, I haven't been able to get them dull. I'll use them and use them and use them. This one I used all day today in the garden. No problem. But if you do get it dull, just all, you would do, all I ever do with open L's is I take a steel. I just go along the edge a few times, and, well, here, I just finished using this one out in the kitchen. Just barely touch it, and you can see, oh, there we go. Now it's dull. <laughs> it is dull. I hate to admit it. 
Okay, so it, it still cuts. Still cuts okay. But it's nothing like it was. Normally I like to here, try the number four, see how that cuts. Whoa. Okay, so much for me saying that they didn't get dull. I mean, this is this is okay, but uh, it takes one to two minutes on the steel to get this thing back shaving sharp. I mean, literally, um, where it's shaving shaving the hair right off your arm. Just a few hits on it. Okay, there it's getting better. Getting better. Oh. Ah. Can't find a good spot. Not that good, but if you, you know, if I was was to spend a minute on it, two minutes instead of thirty seconds, it would be pretty good. And it'll just keep cutting and cutting and cutting due to the thinness. So then again, this is a short video. Um, which one of these do I like best? Well, if this little number four. Um, had a lock ring, so it's a little safer. Um, this would be my all-time favorite knife. Put in my pocket because it's so lightweight; you don't notice it. Um, it performs very light tasks that I usually do, opening packages and the likes, with ease. But it needs a lock ring. The number five, it would be better than the number five because it's smaller, and uh, um, it would, but it would do the trick. But lacking that ring, I still carry it in my pocket just due to the size, but. Um, the lack of a ring makes it so it's not quite as safe. If you do, you can't do any hard cutting, and then it's okay. This thing here has the lock ring. Again, it's not a heavy-duty lock, but it works. It, you, it feels better. It's got a little bit more blade on it, so it's better for garden work. Um, it'll, it'll outcut this all day long due to the lock and due to the bigger blade. Um, but uh, again, you, it, it's, there's a weight penalty. You can see it's a much much, much larger um, knife in your pocket, but it's not that bad. It really isn't that bad. Here it is. Set it next to an Endura. See, the Endura is a bigger knife, beautiful knife. Well, I've had it for 15, you know, since 1998. You can see the two of them. Got to watch out if you have sweaty hands like I have right now. Then, this isn't so easy to uh, open and close. It locks, it locks, even after you close it, you can lock the blade in place. There it is compared to an Endura, but the Endura has the pocket clip and it sits flat. Um, so, but uh, still, um, I like that this fits okay in the pocket. I still like it. So, you got to ask yourself, um, what's it good for? Again, any um, medium duty. This is very, very light duty. This any medium duty have, um, cutting test you you might have. People talk about the stainless. Some people say it's it gets just as sharp as the. Uh, Carbon steel. Others say it's not quite as good. It's it's what is it? Sandvik 12 C 27 M. Um, I found that it sharpens as easy as the carbon. I've found that it holds its edge as well as the carbon. Time will tell whether the edge holds up in the long run as well as the carbon steel. But uh, um, I see nothing wrong with the stainless. It has the advantage you can sit in your pocket. Like I was out sweating in the sun, and this started to corrode right away. Um, I actually liked it because when it corroded, it got stiff, stiffer, and uh, um, otherwise it was the blade was starting to close on me very easily. You know, so I think that if you're looking at the open nail, this is the beech wood handle. Um, the olive wood is the most beautiful handle. But if you're looking at an open nail, consider the six. It's going to be about the largest you could easily carry in your pocket. You go up to this popular seven and eights and they're going to be bigger and heavier for pocket carry. I would want them in a pouch. This would be the biggest knife. Ideally something like uh, like the five if it had a lock ring would be a little bit better than the four or the four with a lock ring would might be the greatest open L of all. If it just had a, but it doesn't have one neither does the five. So um, for serious, more serious cutting I'd go with the six if you want the smallest knife, smallest package out there. Um, uh, if you, uh, again, again, they come in size 2 through around, what, 12, 11, 12, there, you know, there's some really big ones, but this makes sense, so I like the number 6. Okay, just thought I'd show these two to you, 
and see what you think. Again, if you decide on the four, remember it's as light as a key. Real simple to carry. In fact, you can get it with a key ring. You can buy it drilled for, uh, for a key ring or with a key ring added. Then it might be cut, it might be useful that more useful like that too. Okay, till the next video. I'll see you later.